Hey, hello. This video is to show the five steps of throwing a cylinder. Everything stems from a cylinder, whether it's a bowl, plate. Plate is basically a, a, a wide, shallow cylinder, but it's still a cylinder. This is roughly about a pound of clay. I'm going to do five steps to throwing a cylinder. If you like anything in here, you can comment. If you don't like it, comment. Send a video response. Like, share. Okay, so the centering part is the first step. Coning it up, gathering the clay up. Okay, doesn't take strength. I'm not locking any of my muscles. I think the myth everybody always says is hold everything steady, lock everything, and brace it. I don't like that method. I don't use that. I use more of a feel method. Gathering clay up, pushing it back down. Someone's going to comment about that little opening. How do you not have this little opening stay there? This left hand angle stays in. Cone it up. Push it back down. All I'm doing is pushing down, and we're pulling with this hand. It's back and forth. It's not all one motion. I'll do that sometimes. Left hand, right hand, on the side, on the top, here. It's feel. There's no mechanical way to do it. Otherwise, you end up just scraping the clay. I didn't use a lot of water. That's pretty much centered, okay? Centered. Rolo shape. Flat on the top. Thinner here, a little wider here. I use my left thumb. I'm going to go down at an angle like this, down into the clay. Use my right hand to push that in, like that. I'm really exposed. It's going to look like a stadium. Okay? Reason for that, I can see the floor better. And I check the floor of the pin tool. On the cylinder, I think if you're practicing cylinders, you want to leave just enough to where you don't cut through with the wire and you don't have to trim it. And then later on, you can leave as much clay as you want to trim off later. But at the beginning, you want to be efficient with everything. Okay, it's like a stadium. It's like this down the bottom. It's open. I can see the floor. That was the second step. First step, centering and coning is part of the centering. Then I sink the well. That's the second step. Third step, spread the floor. So I'm going to open this bottom up. Bend my fingers. Turn my hand sideways. I'm going to go across the bottom. And trying not to dig into the floor. Okay, so it's about the size of a tuna can. I just went across the bottom like that. I'm not doing this. You don't want to use the word curl. I'm not doing that. Right here, and then I pull across. Like this, and that's what's happening. Okay, like that, go across. That's the third step, spreading the floor. Compress the floor a little bit, smooth it out. Third one, thin the wall. Not a lot of people do this. I don't know if she knows it, but I got this from Mary Law in Berkeley, California. All this clay right here, this thickness, I'm gonna push from the outside like that. I would say majority of, of when the t walls get taller is from the outside. What I did is I pushed in the middle, then I pushed the top, then I'll start back down the bottom. I'm just pushing just on the outside. Start at the bottom, work my way up, okay? Now that's not pulling. I didn't pull up the walls. That's just thinning the walls. I need to get this thinner in here, and it's gonna be a little thinner here, but for the most part, it's not really thick. It's really defined down in the base. You can see it in this camera angle right here. You can see the, the floor and the wall. It's a, it's a nice angle, okay? It's like this on the inside. Now I can really get my inside hand underneath there. I'm gonna push out right here, bulge, just a little bit. That's it. Once I go out, my next move is not to continue going like this, but to go up. That's what everybody do doesn't do. It's unnatural, but you have to try and do that. One thing I will say is when, when the mistake people make is they lock everything and then they try and do this and they end up going like that. You have to have your arm out here, okay? Now, I know people are gonna say, oh, beginners can't do that. Yes, they can, okay? Because I, I watch and teach many people who get stuck and they can't raise the walls any higher no matter how much clay they use and it's because they're stuck in, in the rigid, strong technique of centering and pulling up the walls. I would suggest more of a feel technique, okay? So I made that one pull without saying anything. Now I make a little bulge right here, outside hand. Put that thumb right here, put the first knuckle, flatten my hands to the wheel, go in, and then I'm gonna go up, both hands are gonna go up the side. It's about maintaining this distance between your fingertips. That's raising the wall, okay? Now, right now you see how my left thumb is 
touching my right. Some people will tell you to lock that all the time. I would rather not you lock that, even though I touch it there. It's better if you can do this and not lock it. Because once you lock it, people get stuck in that and they can't make anything higher than the length of their hand because they're locked. So they can't get back in there. And once it's taller and you can't stick your thumb out, then you can't make anything tall. So you don't want to get into that habit. Okay, last pull. So I'll just do three. When I get to the very edge, hold right there for a few seconds. Compress the rim a tiny bit. That's it, okay? Raising the walls. So I would say it's about, you know, not over 90% of outside pressure. I don't know how much pressure, whatever it takes to move the clay. If the clay doesn't move or change shape, you're not pushing it up. If you tear it off, then that's too much. If it's not doing anything, then you, you, you need to apply some pressure from the outside, okay? I'm sure there's a whole lot more. That was really, really quick. Five steps. Centering, coning's part of the centering. Sink the well is the second one. Third one, spread the floor, so it's about the size of a tuna can. The fourth step, thinning the walls. Push just from the outside, move up, move up, and then go down to the bottom, do it one more time. Raising the walls, push out just a little bit at the base, push in, and then follow that bulge all the way up to the top. If you don't have that bulge, and you're not, your right hand's not, your outside hand, right hand's not underneath it, it's gonna be very hard to move clay up, okay? You just massage the clay all day and add water. Well, you notice I never add any water. Not because I can throw dry, it's because the tension in my arms and hands are more relaxed. When you use too much water, you're tense, and then pretty soon you add more water and more water, and then pretty soon the clay is just um, soupy and like mashed potatoes, and it, you, then you can't form anything. All right, thank you very much.